Welcome to 411carline.com. You can find us at 411carline.com. On our website, you'll find pricing information, vehicle information, vehicle photos, as well as a free Carfax. Click the Carfax One Owner or Carfax Advantage Dealer icon to view the free Carfax. 952-540-9000 is our phone number. Give us a call to ask any questions or to set up an appointment. We are by appointment only, so please do call in advance. We appreciate that. All of our vehicles go to third-party shops for inspections. Safety mechanical and road test inspections are performed. We do have whatever safety mechanical maintenance repairs the shop recommends we bring it to. You're welcome to have it inspected as well prior to buying it. Just ask us about our policy on that. Lastly, aftermarket warranties are available on all vehicles, no matter the year, make, model, or miles. Ask us about those if you're interested or it's stapled to the Carfax when you come in. We have this 2004 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. It's a one owner Jeep from Texas. It has no rust. Uh, super well cared for. We'll go over the overall condition here. We'll start in the front. Front bumper is in beautiful shape on this one. Fog lights are both in good condition. Front grille is in good condition. It has 94,000 miles on it, so expect very minor rock chips, uh, bug splats, that sort of thing. Same thing with the front of the fenders. You get that with the shape of Wrangler fen fenders. Um, headlights are in nice shape. Hood's in nice condition on this one. No major imperfections couple little like very light paint imperfections that you really have to be looking for to see no major damages that i'm seeing though uh, obviously the top of the fenders are good on this one it's a texas truck so it doesn't get that rust like they usually do uh, it's got these newer style jku wheels which look really sharp on it actually uh, it's got like brand new bfg all-terrain tires um, you can see the nubs are still all between the tread, which tells you that someone just put those on recently. So this one here uh, has the full-size steel doors. Um, they are in pretty good condition. Of course, there's gonna be a little minor scratches, scuffs, that sort of thing, uh, that would be accurate for 94,000 miles. A lot of times these diamond plate things uh, are used in like Minnesota and surrounding areas to hide things. On this one, I think it was more of a protection thing from rock chips. At the end of this video, or when I walk back around, I'll get to the uh, underside and show you what I mean by that. So all the wheels are in beautiful condition, no imperfections. Get all the tires like brand new. They are BFG KO2s, awesome tires. Um, and they are, what size are they? Oh, right there, 265, 75, 16. I would assume they're like around a 31, maybe a little bit bigger. So, uh, the hard top's in really nice shape. This one comes with both a hard top and a soft top. Uh, it was uh, came with both, so I will include both. Back bumper's in nice shape. It does have a uh, trailer hitch on it with a four pin connector there, so put your bike rack on the back or very small trailer. It does have the rear wiper, has rear defrost and the hard top as well. Hopefully no one drives it in the winter, but if you do, have it undercoated for sure. Tires are in great shape, this wheel's in good condition. This side's beautiful as well. Not really a scratch that I can see on it. If I were being really picky, oh, that's actually a piece of hair. There's like a tiny little scuff right there, but this side is immaculate. Fender flares are all in nice shape too. A lot of times down south you get really worn out fender flares. These ones are nice and clean. Let me show you the underside here. This frame has not been painted or anything. Um, wasn't even really washed at detail. It looks exactly how it came in. So no paint, no cover up. You can see all the bolts here are still silver. The only ones you'll see the cab bolts here do have a little bit of surface on them because they're, they're a different uh, material. Best part or the most important part to look for on for rust is right in this area. That's where all Wranglers rot out as well as back here. So nice and clean. If it were me, I would have this undercoated. Door panels are in great shape. There's no cracks or anything. Usually they have a little crack right here split. This one does have a factory owner's manual in here. Interior is in excellent condition. Non-smoker, no pets that I can tell. So dash is in excellent condition. Does have all these little Velcro things. We left those on at detail. 
there's a uh, cover for the dash, which actually is what kept the dash in really good shape, and I'm including that as well. So seats are in good condition, back seats in there. It's got all the carpet. Carpet's in beautiful shape as well. If you didn't see the vehicle listing yet, of course it is a manual four-wheel drive Rubicon. I'll show you under here. So again, super clean. Unlike axles and suspension components, even with rain and stuff in Texas, you're gonna get light surface. Light surface corrosion, so. Spare tire's in good shape. Um, you can see it's got the factory floor mats in there. Also has the cover for the uh, dash that's right there. Came with this really cool compartment. It's uh, removable by these little quick release things. I can't do it one hand. Oh, maybe I can. It does open as well. When you flip the front seat forward, it flips forward and you have some little cup holders too, which is kind of cool. So this seat, of course, does. You just push this and it'll flip forward, flip down. It's in beautiful condition. Tops in great shape. Even the roll bar padding. Usually they get a lot more sunbeat in Texas, but this one looks pretty good. Of course, the hard top is removable. Um, pretty easy. You just remove these torques on these sides. There's a couple clasps on the top, and then you lift it off. Show you under this side. Again, nice and clean. The floors are nice and clean. Well, other than light dust and dirt buildup. Skid plate. No damages or anything. This one's never been off-road to my knowledge, at least by the looks of it. And you can see up under, if you look where the um, rocker guards attach up in there, there is no rust up in there. So it's not like they're covering anything up and they have this nice rubber backing so it doesn't actually wear on the paint. Driver's door panel's in great shape. Driver's seat's in great condition as well. and started up for you here this one has two keys left the cool little jeep thing with it too so you put your foot on the clutch and make sure it's in neutral start 94,265 miles on it no lights on the dash other than the seatbelt light because I'm not wearing it and the brake light because I have the e-brake on so as I mentioned from the other side, dash is in nice shape. Steering wheel's in pretty good condition for the year and the miles. No major wear or damages. Um, does look like this one was optioned with cruise control and it appears to be operating. Usually the mechanic who uh, inspects it will test that as well. Um, AC does work. And the heat does work. Radio works. Here's your rear wiper, rear defrost. A couple 12 volt plugs down here. And these are your locking differentials, which is what is popular with the Rubicon. If you're doing any off-roading or you get stuck in the snow, you can lock in the electronic locking differentials. So uh, this one is four wheel drive, as I mentioned. This one doesn't have anything that comes up on the dash when it comes into, goes into four wheel drive. However, Manual five speed, the clutch is really good on this one. It's got a very little clutch travel. Um, so I probably shouldn't do that. I didn't realize that the parking brake on. Uh, the uh, handle's a little bit turned. Someone must have unscrewed it or something, but it is a five speed, reverses over here, of course, so. Locking lug key there. Not really sure what that other thing is, but it does have a locking center console. As I mentioned, the roof is in good shape on this one. So, runs and drives really well. Does have headlamps over here. To pull, to turn the fog lamps on, you pull out on the switch. So, this video is getting a little long, so I'm gonna hop out and show you under the engine bay here. Actually, I'll show you the front axle too. So, I like to show everything. Show the frame in all the spots. Uh, we did put new front pads and rotors on this one, as well as new calipers. That was recommended by the uh, 
shop who inspected it. So 4.0 runs great, uh, no leaks, at least at this point in time. And when it went through the shop, Optima Red Top battery, 22, so a little less than a year old. AC works, you can hear it cycling now. My phone does pick up small engine bell train noise. You can hear it, it'll be a little, uh, it'll usually be a little more ticky on my phone. But as expected, nice and clean under here. No rust. That's a 2004 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our website, 411carline.com. Give us a call, 952-540-9000 to set up an appointment. Thanks for your time today. Have a great day.